Welcome back. So here's where we left off last time. Now, if you pay attention to our hitboxes over here, um, if I, oops, if I attack, you can see that a hitbox becomes active depending on which direction I'm facing. And we're going to be using those hitboxes today to do one of my, one of the all-time favorite things to do in Zelda, and that is to break some pots. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to go to my art folder here and I want to look at my objects. So go ahead and go to your art folder, objects, sprite editor. We're going to be using this pot animation that you can find right here. And because I used um, uh, automatic to slice this up for, actually, yeah, I used automatic to slice it up for that. So since I did that, we're going to have to change a few things really, really fast here. Um, so. If you click on the pot, you see it made this teeny tiny box around it. But then if you click over here, it makes like a million teeny tiny pieces. We don't want that. We want this as one set thing. So I'm going to click on the pot one and I'm going to make its width 32 and its height 32, which makes it the right size that we want. But and we want to have the X position be uh, 64 and we want the Y position to be thought it was 192. Yeah, 192 is where we want it. So we're going to modify this one. Now for these others, we're just going to make a new box. So I just click and drag to make a new box and I'm going to modify it as I go. Again, I want my width and height to be 32. Um, my X position is going to be 32 more than 64. So 96. And my Y position is still 192. And this next one, click and drag. My X position, see, 128. My Y position, 192. Width is 32, height is 32. And I got two more to, or I guess three more to do. So I got this one. Uh, let's see, 128 plus 32 is 160. And Y is 192. Width of 32, height of 32. All right, cool. And it doesn't matter that this box overlaps other boxes. I'll just sh I'll show you what happens. And last one here. Um, X is 192. Y is 192. Width is 32. Height is 32. All right, cool. So I got these four boxes. Uh, 192, 192, 32, 32. 160, 192, 32, 32. 128, 192, 32, 32. 96, 192, 32, 32, and then the last one is 64, 192, 32, 32. And I'm just going to apply this really fast. And what that does is inside my objects, those little teeny tiny ones are still there, but it adds extra boxes at the end. So the last one, two, three, four are the ones that I made extra, but the original pot one want to say is like do, 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 somewhere up here maybe maybe it's further down I don't know why I'm doing this one I can just click it to find out <laughs> I don't know what's up with me okay so objects sprite editor the original pot one is 81 All right cool so I'm gonna grab object 81 And I'm going to pull that into the scene and change its sorting layer to signs. So now I can see that. I'm going to put it in a nice position, say 7.5 on X and negative 12 on Y. 7.5, not 1.5. There we go. So now it's in the scene. Now I need to add a few things to this. First, I'm going to add a box collider. 2D so that this can have a collision and I'm going to edit the collider so that it is the correct size for the pot. So if you just hit edit collider you'll see these green handle jobbies show up. So if I hit play now I can see interact with the pot but I want that pot to break when I smash it. I want it to break so bad so let's do that. Um, first thing I'm going to do on my pot here, 
I'm going to rename it from objects 81 to pot. And I'm also going to add a new component, an animator. Then I'm going to create a new clip for it. And this is going to require two clips. And I want to make sure these go in animation. So in animations, I've got place and player. I'm going to make a new folder for objects. And first I'm going to make a pot idle. All right, and my pot idle is just the pot exactly as it is right now. Cool, let's make another one. And we're gonna call this pot destroy. So pot destroy is gonna be those last four frames that I made. So I'm gonna pull in this one, go over just a little bit, pull in this one. If you just pull all four in, by default, Unity um, makes it a little fast. So I want to make sure that I have the ones that I want. Um, and you can offset by that by changing the samples, but I don't like changing the samples. I'd rather change the spacing, because changing the samples can make your animations look wonky sometimes. So, yeah. So there's our little animation. Cool. Um, play. Yeah, it might be a little too fast, but we can adjust that. Now, you'll notice that if I hit play, it just keeps looping. Let's change that before we go any further. In animations, I'm going to go to objects. I'm going to find that pot destroy animation. I'm going to turn off loop time. Nice. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to go to animator. And I'm going to make sure that my pot is highlighted. I want my pot idle to be my entry to pot idle. But I also want to be able to trigger destroy. So I'm going to make a transition from pot idle to pot destroy. And you do that just by right clicking and choose make transition. And I want a parameter for this transition. So parameters highlighted. I'm going to make a new one. This is going to be a bool. And I'll just call this bool smash. Now, to make it trigger from going idle to destroy when smash is true, I'm going to highlight that uh, transition. And over here, I'm going to add to the list. Smash is true. There we go. I want it to have no exit time. And let's find how it is. Okay. So now let's get into some scripting. I'm going to go to my scripts folder. And I'm going to create a new C Sharp script. I'm going to call that script. Um, let's call it pot. There we go. So let's go ahead and open up the pot script. Cool. So in here, I'm going to make a reference to the animator. I'm going to say uh, private animator, and I'm going to call it anim. And then I'm going to complete the reference to the animator in the start method. So I'm going to say anim is equal to get component animator. All right, cool. Now I'm going to make a little method here to trigger the pot to go into that destroy state. So my little method here is going to be uh, public because I want to be able to access it from something else. I'm going to call this public void destroy. Nope, not on destroy. Maybe we'll call it smash so that Visual Studio doesn't think it's something else. All right, in our smash method, we're just going to set that anim bool. So anim.set bool. And the bool we want to set is smash. And we want to set it to true. All right, cool. So now we want to be able to trigger that. So back in Unity here, I'm going to make another script, C Sharp script. I'm going to call this um, player hit. Oops. Let me fix that real quickly. There we go. So player hit. I'm going to open up player hit in Visual Studio. And this is going to be attached to the hitboxes we made last time for the player so that we can 
actually assign damage. So I'm just going to use a really quick little method here. And this is going to be void on trigger enter 2D. And I like renaming it from collision to other, just because that's this is how I roll. So on trigger enter 2D, collider 2D, other, we're going to say if other dot compare tag and we're going to create this tag in just a second here the tag I want to make is breakable then I want to call that smash method so I'm going to do um, other dot get component the component I want to get is pot for now I'm going to have other breakable things and then I'll just change that script to be breakable if I had been thinking I would have done that already Sorry. So get component pot dot smash. So we're going to smash it. Um, cool. So now this requires us to have a breakable tag. Make sure that you pay attention to your spelling and your case. I did lowercase b breakable. So I'm going to go back into Unity. Click on my pot. Uh, up here with my tag. I'm going to click that. And I'm going to add a new tag. Um, it's going to think for a second. So I'm going to add a tag and I'm going to call this breakable. Now I need to actually assign that. So if I go back to my pot, I'm going to assign it as, huh, did I not hit? Well, that's weird. What was I doing layers? I don't know. All right. Well, we're going to call this breakable. Um, and then back to my pot, breakable. All right, cool. Now this has, this needs to get the pot script. All right, cool. And then all of my hitboxes, they need to get the hitbox script or player hit script. Cool. Um, so let's try this out. So I hit play. And I walk over to my pot. That was super fast. And one thing you'll notice too, the pot still exists. It's just that the animation changed. Um, so a couple things. Let's change our pot's animation speed. So let's go to animation. Let's change to pot destroy. And I want to spread these out. So I'm going to take my last key. I'm going to move it to a third of a second. This is going to be at a quarter of a second, there and there. So there we go. That's way better. The other thing I want to do is I want to go to my pot script. I'm going to make a really, really quick coroutine. So I'm going to call this I enumerator. I'm just going to call this uh, break co. So this is just a coroutine to break it. So all this is going to do is yield return new wait for seconds. And I'm going to wait uh, 0.3 seconds, a third of a second. And then I'm not going to destroy the object. Instead, I'm just going to make it inactive. That way, um, loading and unloading scenes is better. So I'm going to say uh, this dot game object dot set active false. And then I'm going to start this coroutine when we break it. So start, oops, start coroutine, break co. All right, cool. So I'm going to save that. Let's pop back into Unity here. Let's hit play. And let's test this out. So. That was way better. All right, cool. Breakable pots. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description down below. Um, you can follow me on Twitter to find out when I post new videos. You can join my Discord, where I've been chatting quite a bit lately. And yeah, I hope everybody out there has themselves a wonderful day.